Russian forces carried out massive strikes on military facilities in Ukraine. In the Cherkasy region, a large ammunition depot in Uman was one of the targets struck. In Voronezh, a Ukrainian drone struck an apartment building on Belinskogo Street. As a result, an explosion occurred in an apartment and three people were injured. The other residents were evacuated. An AFU UAV was also used to attack the territory of an oil tank farm in Kursk. The drone collapsed outside the facility without causing any damage or destruction. Attacks on the Belgorod region continue. Residential buildings in Shebekino were hit, injuring three people. Several aerial targets were shot down by air defense forces on approach to the regional capital. While the situation in the south is aggravating, the AFU undertook a number of diversionary counterattacks in the Donetsk direction. All attempts to advance in Marinka and the Avdivka fortified area were unsuccessful and were repulsed. In Zaporizhia region, the AFU command continues to redeploy fresh forces into the battle at the robotine verbov sector. The Russian units are actively defending and inflicting serious damage on the enemy, holding the current positions. To the west, AFU units attempted to entrench in the previously occupied village of Lobkovo. However, after the targeted work of Russian artillery, the enemy had to retreat. At the moment, the village stays in the gray zone. Ukrainian units attempted to attack the territory of the Zaporizhia NPP. Three drones participated in the attack. All of them were intercepted and neutralized by electronic warfare means. In Kherson region, the AFU struck a children's camp on the Arabat Spit with cruise missiles. One of the missiles was shot down by air defenses, but two reached their targets. One person was killed, another was wounded.